attack. Fuck! Shit! Another track review here at the Sonic Squeeze with me, Kit Campbell, him, James, <laughs> and gas spat everywhere <laughs> all over your phone. <laughs> We're talking about Under Attack by Skin Dread, and this is a song from their latest album, Volume. Uh, it's kind of they're a, they're a Welsh metal band with a bunch of reggae. Bunch of dub, bunch of electronic elements all thrown up in there, you know how it is, you know how it is, mate. And uh, first of all, this isn't the kind of music I usually listen to. This has me in mind of the kind of stuff I was listening to in the noughties on the Kerrang channel when I when we would be perusing that. And, uh, you know, it, it had me in mind of some like maybe Limp Biscuit or Corn, I think you were saying earlier. <laughs> Uh, it's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. And you will oh, never know why. We were just talking to our friend Isaac, who isn't here right now, unfortunately. No, he doesn't exist. He was <laughs> telling us how he went to go and see a gig, and how the uh, the frontman of this band... He's a bit of a bellend. Yeah, apparently he's kind of a dick. <laughs> he, he, uh, Isaac's exact words were, he seemed like the kind of guy that was full on all the time, and that's unwarranted. <laughs> 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 and I thought that's the most English thing that anyone's like, ever said. <laughs> that's true. That's incredible. <laughs> but, um... That's a good thing. As this song progressed, you start to realise this isn't your average bullshit song, you know? It was good. I liked it. I was surprised at how much I liked it. It was hype as fuck. It was, was it not? It was hype as fuck. It was really rhythmic. It was pretty awesome. It started off a bit... Verse, chorus, first chorus, but I was like, it's alright. And as I started to get bored near the end and think, oh, now they're just going to throw in the last chorus. So suddenly there's like a f- sort of weird funky section the, where the, everything's the, differently produced. The Daft Punk vocoder on the, yeah, the vocals. Which was cr- crazy cool. And then they have like multiple sections of break and then it goes heavy again and then it yeah. gets to a separate ending section and there's all this different stuff happening. And I was like, apart from that one moment where I thought I was going to get bored, I didn't get bored for But the verse is real strong. Oh yeah, Every and the chorus real is real strong. Real strong. So even if they do just start with intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Oh yeah, I liked. It. If if rather than doing all the interesting stuff they did at the end, they'd finished with just another chorus. I mean, I would have thought it was worse, but I still wouldn't have thought it was bad. It would still would have been like, yeah, it's a decent song. There, there was never a boring moment on this song. It was just always chopping and changing, doing a new thing. It had me doing this every now and again. I'm enjoying this song, which I would physically say the while little, I was listening to it, little even with headphones English on. Headbang. Yeah, but I would say it too loud because I had headphones on and I can't hear myself. I'm enjoying this song. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. And then our housemate Remy would be walking past and just go, "What? What? I'm what? Oh, sorry." No. What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing in there? He is crazy. The, the best Italian, part that was awful. about <laughs> this, crazy. Yeah, fucking crazy. <laughs> the, the best part about this song is the vocals. The vocals. Yeah sell you this song for sure the hook mm. is good the verses are good and the verses are wrapped but the uh the chorus chorus is shrink wrapped no it's it's sung and it's it's great like yeah. having that these little like reggae intonations going on as well it very much Super sets good. it apart from just being like a decent metal song to being like a decent metal song with this interesting gimmick that makes it like different you're like oh it's kind of cool it's kind of like this different vibe and it was good I was getting strong Rage Against the Machine vibes in this mm. track I was hearing some kind of very Tom Morello influences on the kind of electronica stuff they were doing I weirdly saw some like drum and bassy sort of sounding stuff as well because the vocals were such like they were that sort of very like ragga jungle yeah, style yeah. of kind of like p- Jamaican style rapping. Yeah. You're getting like dance or saying, and I was just like, oh, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. This guy is just full of fucking vocal hooks just everywhere. Mm. He's got a new vote. I think he can just do it like naturally. Some of you playing any song, he'd be able to go just make up constantly new hooks for it. I felt as though the second verse was a bit weak in comparison, though. 
to yeah. any other part of the song. I'd say that was probably the weakest section of the song. Mm. Um, but it wasn't very long, that section, so you just kind of... Mm. They, Re- keep, they you, keep everything moving. If you felt as though it was not that good and agreed with me, mm. you would immediately go into the chorus, which you did enjoy, and mm. then go into Even this so they, little break at the end. They keep everything moving, like... Maybe it's like a fucking train. It's like that. You can't stop that. This train. this section, this song, if you count all the sort of sections leading up to and including the ending, has about as many sections as like the Coldplay song we talked about earlier. But that Coldplay song was like a whole minute longer mm-hmm. because in this the sections are quick and fast and like we've done that next one, we've done that next one, and there's so many more, much so much more variety. The only bits that are really repeated are first verse second verse and first chorus second chorus they're the only bits that are truly like fully sort of repeated and everything else is something like new it's like interesting they're like try this try this how about now we do this Ooh. and on that note Ooh. what would you James give this song out of turn too slow Gareth what would you give this song out of 10? I really liked it I'm not sure that I'd listen to like this sort of stuff it's not really my style but I was like this is pretty good. I, 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 it's not quite good enough to get like a really high score, but I think seven, maybe a strong seven on a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boop, boop, boop. If I was in a melly mood, I'm gonna give it a weak seven. I really liked it, but I didn't feel as though there was anything new. It was just a good kind of cock rock metal reggae mashup yeah it was it was it wasn't like those normal you know it was just an average uh, yeah. cock rock metal reggae, reggae. dub mashup yeah. it wasn't yeah. like I feel it was like, an excellent one there's I feel like that genre list could go on for a few oh, yeah. pages there's some excellent, yeah. there are some nines out there <laughs> there are some nines yeah oh. I'm gonna give it a, a week seven as well yeah fantastic yeah have you guys listened to this track what would you rate it now ten please leave a comment We'd appreciate that. And if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more of us doing crazy, wacky stuff, hit that subscribe button. Oh, that was so crazy and wacky, dude. I know. You, we just, like, you just come up with this stuff, We man. sat down. It we talked flows. about a song. Crazy. You, you wiggled your arms. Ah! Oh, you think of doing that? Bye! Oh, oh, wiggle your arms. Goodbye. <laughs> that was weak. <laughs>